In this video, we'll walk through replacing the seals in the MaxiPro and IntelliPro pumps provided in the quick kit from Pentair. And for this video, we'll be using the MaxiPro pump. If you're doing this work on a pump that's still installed in the system plumbing, make sure to close the suction and discharge gate valves to avoid flooding the equipment and always follow manufacturer's safety and warning instructions. The quick kit for the MaxiPro comes with the mechanical shaft seal, the pump lid o-ring, the seal plate gasket, the diffuser o-ring, two drain plug o-rings, an impeller locking screw o-ring, and a small tube of silicone lubricant. Let's start by removing the pump lid. It may be on pretty tight, so if you need to, you can use a rubber hammer and gently tap the handle to help loosen it up. Use a small pick or flat blade screwdriver to help remove the pump lid gasket from the groove in the pump pot. Remove the strainer basket. And now, to remove the tank body assembly, we first have to remove the two bolts securing it to the base. We use a half inch wrench to get these two bolts out. Now we can go ahead and remove the suction side drain plug and o-ring and then the pressure side drain plug and o-ring. Next we need to separate the tank body assembly from the seal plate by removing the band clamp. Turn the knob counterclockwise to loosen this clamp. Remove the knob and then the band clamp assembly. Now separate the tank body assembly from the seal plate. The diffuser o-ring sits in a groove on the diffuser. Let's use a small pick or flat blade screwdriver to remove this o-ring. There are five screws that secure the diffuser to the seal plate. We can use a quarter inch nut driver to remove these screws and take off the diffuser. To remove the impeller, we first need to remove the cover from the back of the motor so we can hold the shaft with the wrench while we loosen the impeller. There's one screw holding the cover in place. Use a flat blade screwdriver to remove this screw or you can use a quarter inch nut driver. If you have a pump with a TEFC or totally enclosed fan cooled motor, there's an Allen key in the shaft of the motor that's accessible without removing the cover. Now we can hold the motor shaft with a half inch wrench while we loosen the impeller. It's important to remember that some pumps will still have the impeller locking screw, but since our pump doesn't, we can skip that step. Now that the impeller is off, we can see the part of the seal that comes off with the impeller. Sometimes, if you pull this portion of the seal off, the inner sleeve may stay on the impeller shaft. Make sure to remove this sleeve before trying to install the new seal onto the impeller shaft. Now let's remove the seal plate from the motor by removing the four bolts that hold them together. We use a 9 16 wrench to take these bolts out. And then remove the seal plate. Now we need to remove the portion of the seal that's pressed into the seal plate. Here we use a 5 8 socket and a rubber hammer to drive the seal out of the seal plate. To begin reassembly, 
we first want to clean the seal seat and the seal plate thoroughly. When handling the seal, be careful not to touch the sealing surface with your hands since oils and dirt on the skin can shorten the life of the seal or cause it not to seal properly. To install the new seal into the seal plate, spray the seal seat with a mixture of light duty detergent and water. This helps to seat the seal. And here we use a 3 quarter inch PVC coupling to press the seal into place. And if you do happen to touch the seal or contaminate the sealing surface, you can clean the seal with alcohol and a lint-free cloth. Now make sure the large molded flat is at the top and reinstall the seal plate onto the motor. It's a good idea to use grease or anti-seize on the bolts when reinstalling them. Tighten these bolts evenly in a crisscross manner to avoid distorting the seal plate. The torque spec for these bolts is 70 to 80 inch pounds. Now let's clean the impeller shaft and install the spring loaded seal onto the shaft, making sure that the sealing surface is facing the seal plate. Now reinstall the impeller by threading it onto the motor shaft while holding the other end of the motor shaft with a half inch wrench and tightening the impeller by hand. Reinstall the diffuser by aligning the slot on the diffuser with the tab on the seal plate. Reinstall the five diffuser screws and tighten them by hand with a quarter inch nut driver or flat blade screwdriver. Now install the new diffuser o-ring into the groove on the diffuser. Notice that the blue seal that we took off the diffuser was the old style diffuser seal. The new diffuser seal in the kit will be black. The tank body assembly has small notches in the groove for the gasket to help hold the gasket in place. Let's install the new gasket onto the tank body and reattach the tank body to the seal plate. We'll put the pump back onto the base to help reinstall the band clamp. Loop the band clamp under the pump motor and position it with both the seal plate and tank body assembly inside the clamp and the knob at the top. Reinstall the knob and tighten the band clamp by hand, tapping around the clamp with a rubber hammer to assist in tightening. Now let's go ahead and install the new o-rings onto the drain plugs and then reinstall the drain plugs into the tank body assembly. Now thoroughly clean the sealing surface of the lid and the groove in the tank body assembly. Now apply the supplied silicone lubricant to the pump lid o-ring and install the pump lid o-ring into the groove on the tank body assembly. Now install the strainer basket, making sure that the opening in the basket lines up with the suction port on the pump. Then install the lid and tighten it by hand. And now reinstall the pump base mounting bolts and tighten them with a half inch wrench. To reinstall the motor cover, align the screw with the threaded hole in the end of the motor and tighten the screw with a quarter inch nut driver or flat blade screwdriver. And that's it. The pump is now ready to go back into service. <music>